Republicans are in it and what kind of Republicans they are. Okay, and every Republican PC gets access to voter vault. And this is how difficult it is. You fill out one piece of paper, you, and you set your password, and then they give you a password, and you're off to the races. And look at how difficult it is to use voter vault. Here's the voter vault manual. It's 20, this, I think it's 18 pages. The first four or five pages, yeah, this is, this is, this is just fluff. There's about eight pages that tell you how this works. It's, it's real easy. I mean, I can figure it out. Okay. So, we have to know what we're for before we can demand our elected public servants to do what we want. So now, let's assume that you want to put pressure on your, on your elected Republican officials or Democratic officials. What are we for? Well, we're, we're for following the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Question, have you read them recently? Yes. Again, gets back to this. Right here. The constant, you can't know what you're for until you really know what you're for. And if you really want to know what you're for, you've got to sit down. And I suggest you sit down for an hour a day with one of these, ten days in a row, and read two things. The Declaration of Independence and the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Okay? And once you've done that, you, that stuff's going to start to get ingrained in you. And, you're, and once you've done that, you're... you're your little citizen's rule book is going to start to look like this one, okay? So Highlighted, tagged, and all that. Because I've been reading it, and we, we, the, um, uh, and, and that's what we need to do. And see, these elected representatives, you heard some of the crap that's come out of their, mo their mouths about the Constitution. We don't have to follow the Constitution. Uh, uh, it's just malarkey that comes out. They don't know, and these, some of these guys are lawyers. They think you're stupid. And they're going to they're gonna take advantage of us if we don't hold their feet to the fire. Okay, so the first three words in the Constitution are in big letters. We the people. First three words. It's there for a reason. It's not we the other guy. It's not we those guys over there. It's not we the professional politicians. No, the framers meant we the people had to be the guardians of our republic. Okay? The Constitution begins with we the people for a reason. We have a duty to oversee this government. And we've, I'm, I'm guilty as charged. I've fallen down on the job for years. Okay. Here's what it says. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain, and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. We the people did that way back when. We the people have to do it again. <coughs> okay. And we have no excuse for not being knowledgeable about this. No excuse. Like I said, here in Arizona, Witten Printers, right downtown, they publish this citizen's rule book. There's a pile of them over there. Take one. Please order some. Um, uh, here's their phone number, 602-258-64. 06. It's also in the Citizens Rule Book. Um, and it's also got founders quotes and some other good stuff, including your rights as a juror when you sit on a criminal jury. Uh, and we've got to rediscover that. Okay. So how much, Drew asks this, what are you going to do? How much is your liberty worth to you? Okay, isn't that the fundamental question? How much time will you spend? How much money will you spend? How far out of your comfort zone will you get? Okay, our founders said in the Declaration of Independence, and for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. They laid it all on the line. Okay. And again, for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. What do you pledge? What will you do? Okay. How much is liberty worth to you? How much effort and treasure will you devote to the liberty of your children and grandchildren? That old saying, united we stand, divided we fall. Again, what are you going to do to help unite conservatives politically? You know, what's the best political tool that we have? It's simple. It's a political party. The parties are not conservative enough because not enough conservatives are in them. 
And when you get to your local party committee meeting, you'll meet all sorts of other people who have great ideas. We have, we, we, like I said, we take the conservative.